Hey guys, it's Artsy and today I'm going to be naming and doing short tutorials for 10 aerials that you can do on a ballast song and I'm going to be showing you how to end those aerials or to continue flipping and maybe a grip to catch the aerials in to continue flipping and freestyling. Okay, I'm going to show you short tutorials for all 10 of these tricks and if you need more of a tutorial then you can go to any of the links down below and they will show you a more in-depth tutorial for each one of these on my channel. So for the basic aerial you're going to be throwing the knife like this where you're holding the safe handle right here. The safe handle is where if you have your finger here the blade won't be hitting it and so you're going to be throwing the safe hand, the bite handle and the blade up, doing one rotation, and coming back down. So that's the basic aerial. So number two is the reverse grip aerial. That is where you're going to be throwing it just like the basic aerial in the air, but you're going to be catching it like this. So instead of catching it like this, you're catching it like this. And what's good about this trick is that if you're trying to get from one position to another, you can either get here, or you know how to get here, and then you can do some crazy ending um, or you can continue flipping and maybe do a ladder from there or something like that. So number three is the ice pick parabolic and that's my favorite aerial to add to the end of freestyling. So you're in this position so you know you get you do your freestyling and you get to this and you can end it really cool by doing the ice pick parabolic. So you're here and you're pushing the knife with your index finger. You're pushing the safe handle up and it goes around and you land like this. So you're not just throwing it like this and flopping it. You're you're kind of you're throwing it and it's landing. So the fourth aerial is a two-handed transfer. There's so many different ways to do this. I'm just showing you the way I like to do it. So what you're doing is you're taking your right hand your left hand and you're having the knife in your right and you're switching them, right? You're throwing underneath your right hand to your left hand. So you're you're throwing the knife in a basic aerial and you're catching it. And I would I would say I would start off doing this with a trainer because you don't know how this hand's going to catch it, especially if you don't do a lot of tricks with your left hand often. So you're throwing it, right? And whatever catch happens, you kind of got to play off of that catch. So that's when the best thing to do is to learn a behind the eight ball maybe with your left hand. You get your hand ready and then you can do another one, right? So you were just like this, you can take your hand, put it on top, and do another throw and catch it with your right hand and maybe you'll catch it perfectly like that. So the next aerial is behind the back aerial. So that means you're taking the knife in your right hand and you're doing another basic aerial where you're throwing the safe handle like this. You have it in your, the safe handle and you're throwing it, try, you try to do it horizontal to your body and catch it on this side with your left hand. Again, use a trainer. You're going to cut yourself the first time you try this. So you're throwing it and you're trying to get a consistent throw. So I would just say practicing this and practicing the same speed and, and um, force that you throw it at and then catching it and eventually you'll catch it practically in the same grip every time on your left hand. So you're taking the knife, you're throwing it and you're catching it and I caught it perfectly that time. Most of the time I'll have to do some trick to get out of it. Um, that's why with my left hand I've learned a few basic tricks like the behind the eight ball fanning um, just so if I do catch it in these transfers I know how to get out of it smoothly. So for the under the leg transfer, I don't have a video for this, but you can imagine 
maybe just trying it out. So you get the, the knife in the same position you had it before, and you're going to be throwing it this way under your leg. So it's, it's gonna be doing another basic aerial, kinda, and you're doing it under the leg. So it's gonna look like this. So you get the knife, and you get your leg ready, and you're gonna be throwing it and catching it with your left hand. Hopefully you catch it like this, this is perfect. So then, in my opinion, if you wanna do another under the leg, you would just take your other leg, so I was just under my right leg to my left hand, so I'll get my left hand to my right hand under my left leg. So left hand, left leg, going underneath, and then catching it. And I caught it perfectly again, there you go. The next one's the helix aerial, and so in order to do this, you're doing behind the eight ball. You have to know behind the eight ball to do this trick, so don't even learn this if you don't know that. So this is basically a behind the eight ball to an aerial to the behind the eight ball again. So you're doing half a behind the eight ball, you're stopping here, and you're not doing a zen rollover. You're doing a throw, and the throw is gonna look like this. It's gonna go in the air, and then you're going to catch it, again, in this position, and it'll lead you right back to a, a full behind the eight ball and you'll end it like that. So to do the trick, the battle song trick called scissoring, you're gonna be doing a full twirl and you're going to be taking the knife, throwing it in the air and you're gonna be catching it with your index finger, your ring finger and your middle finger. So your middle finger is gonna go in between the blade, the handles and then on the back of the safe handle is your ring finger, you're going to be pushing it forward, replacing your ring finger with your index finger. Now you're doing a index chaplain that's vertical, and that is going to lead right back into a full twirl. So for the suicide drop, you're going to be throwing the knife in the air while twisting it. You're going to be twisting it clockwise. So while throwing it, you're throwing it at a medium height and twisting it and catching it like this. So you're catching it in this grip, not in this grip, because that's how it sometimes will go. This is the correct grip to catch it in. The last trick is the backhand aerial. You're going to be throwing the knife around like this. It's gonna come around and you're gonna catch it like this. And that is going to be the majority of the trick. The trick's pretty easy, it looks like this. And you catch it in this grip. Thank you so much to all my Patreons that have helped and supported me, and everyone that's getting lessons right now and getting a lot of help from me. I hope you guys are benefiting a lot because I've seen a lot of improvement. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment below any questions you have and I'll make sure to answer. And if you DM me on Instagram, my Instagram's right here. I will get back to you within a week or two.